Okay, so this question is one of the new spec ones, so it's a little bit tricky, okay? We're talking about here, it says a company sells seeds and claims that 55% of its pea seeds germinate. So literally plants that are going to grow into pea plants. Write down a reason why the company should not justify their claim by testing all the pea seeds that they produce. What did we say, Ronak? They can't sell them if they test them. Yeah, they can no longer sell them if they've tried to test them. If you try and test a pea seed to see if it grows, well, if it grows, it's no longer a pea seed. If it doesn't grow, you're selling a seed that doesn't germinate. So the reason they should not test all of the pea seeds they produce um, because if they test them all, they can no longer sell them. Um, you could say it's time consuming. I'll have a look at what I've put on the mark scheme in a second, actually, and I'll confirm if there's any other ones that they would accept. So it then says a random selection, random selections, so might you start thinking of different kinds of distributions, of the pea seeds is planted in 10 trays and 24 seeds in each tray. Assuming that the company's claim is correct, calculate the probability that in at least half of the trays, 15 or more of the seeds germinate. Now, this is pretty demanding for just three marks here. I'd say this probably should have been a five mark question. But it sounds like we're talking about two different things. It sounds like we're talking about how many trays there would be, but then it also sounds like how many seeds in each tray would germinate. So it sounds like we're talking about two different things here, which tells me I'm going to be doing two different kinds of distributions. So if I have a look at part B and I say that x is the number of seeds to germinate, then we could say that x is binomially distributed and we're interested in how many seeds there are in each tray because there's 24 seeds in each tray and I want to know that in the tray, 15 or more of the seeds germinate. So there's 24 seeds. We think that the probability of it germinating is 0.55. And I want to find the probability that at least uh, 15 or more of the seeds germinate. So that's the probability that x is greater than or equal to 15, which is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 14. So I'm going to just go to the calculator and I'm going to work that out here. So we're going to be back on the binomial this time, and it's cumulative. Uh, we said, what was it, less? Did it say more than 15? More than at, least. at least 15. So it's between 15 and 24, with 24 of them at 0.55, and you get 0.2991. So that's one. Oh, I've, I should have done it the way that um, normal calculators would do this. So we should have done 1 minus the probability that it was between... 0 and 14, which is 1 minus 0 0.7009. So it's 1 minus the probability of 0 0.7009, which is 0 0.2991. Now that's the probability that there will be 15 or more seeds in one tray germinating. So we now need to go on to the next thing and actually figure out what's going to happen. We need to say something different. I might say that T is the number of trays with 15 or more pea seeds germinating. OK? So we now think that T is going to also be binomially distrib distributed. There are 10 trays, and the probability that 15 or more of them will germinate is 0 0.2991. So we're going to now try and find out what is the probability that the number of trays is at least half. So does that mean it's allowed to be 5 or it has to be greater than 5? So it's the probability that t is greater than or equal to 5, which is 1 minus the probability that t is less than or equal to 4. So let's go back to the calculator. OK, I know you want to go, but we're going to just have to do it at my speed. Uh, so, so we said less than or equal to 4. There was 10 of them, and it was 0 0.2991. So 8513. Thank you. I'm going to take my sweet time here. So it's 0 0.1487. So that is the probability that in at least half of them, there will be, uh, that will happen, OK? So that was part B of the question. Part C of the question then says, let's just double check in case I've missed any other information there. Have I missed any other information? 
Uh, no, it just says write down the two conditions under which the normal distribution may be used as an approximation to the binomial. So you need to say P is close to 0 0.5 and N is large. Those are the two things. You have to say both of them to get the mark. It then says a random sample of 240 P seeds, so this is what N is going to be, was planted and 150 of these seeds germinated. Assuming that the company's claim is correct, use a normal approximation, they might have said a suitable approximation, to find the probability that at least 150 P seeds germinate. So now we can say, well, we thought that the binomial distribution would have been 240 and 0 0.55, but we're going to actually find out what the normal distribution is. So NP, as you multiply these together, 240 times 0 0.55 is? 130. 132. And then if you do 132 multiplied by 0 0.55, which is 0 0.45, sorry. 59.4. 59.4. So it's a normal distribution with these facts that we've got here. Notice how the average looks like 132. That's what we would expect there to be out of uh, 240 P seeds being planted. We'd expect 132 of them to germinate. And we want to find out the probability that at least 150 P seeds germinate. Now, your temptation might just be to do that Y is greater than 150, but that's wrong because we haven't done the continuity correction. So it should be the probability that Y is greater than... 149.5. Yep, I'm going to make you watch me put it in on the calculator. <laughs> so 132 and 59.4. So I need to do the square root of 59.4. 132. And the lower was 149.5. And the upper was whoosh. And we get 0.0116. which if it's helpful to think about is 1.16%, okay? So it says, using your answer to part D, comment on whether or not the proportion of the company's P seeds that germinate is different from the company's claim of 55%. So anyone got any ideas of what they think the answer should be here? No, it's not gonna be a percentage change here. So if you think about what's happened, we had 240 P seeds and 150 of them germinated. Does that seem like it's quite a lot? Why does it seem like it should seem like a lot? Because the average number that we were expecting there to be is 132. We were expecting to be 132 because 55% of 240 is 132. What's the probability that we got 100, more than 150? It's really, really small. So this is a bit like a hypothesis test, OK? It's such a small chance that if it was 55% that we got more than 150 P seeds, that it makes us think that, they're, that the company's claim is not true. So we should say something like that. We should say for part E, because uh, the probability, whoops, spelt wrong, because the probability that the number of seeds, <laughs> yeah, that the number of seeds was at least 150 was very small. The company's claim is not supported. It's a bit like a hypothesis test. If this percentage came out and it was like 50%, well, half the time they're going to be bigger than that, so the company is probably still right. But the fact that we've done this test here and there was a very small chance of there being 150, that makes us go a little bit like a hypothesis test. We're going to reject the null hypothesis, uh, which is, and the null hypothesis is 55%, so we actually think it should be like that. Yes, Rayhan. Well, partly, why don't we test it against what, if it was to do binomially, like, you know? Because it's not, it shouldn't be any different to what it is binomially binomial distribution of this and doing uh, greater, than and and greater than 150 will basically be the same percentage as this. But it's more about the fact that they have s we have assumed that the probability was 0 0.55. But because our one was 150, which was so much bigger than 132, we're actually saying, is that likely that we got 150? Is it something that could have just happened by chance? Or actually, is it really rare to have happened? It should be making you think of hypothesis tests. So I'll just show you the mark scheme. So we got the seeds would all be destroyed in the process, so they would have none to sell. Well, we said that before. 
We talked about this double binomial thing that we've got coming up here where we, I think we came up with this one, 0.1487, we did. N is large and P is close to 0.5. We then came up with, we don't need to look at this bit that we've got here, but we came up with this prob probability here. The last thing said, the probability is very small, therefore there is evidence that the company's claim is incorrect. It's got like feelings of a hypothesis test there without any of the accuracies of the stuff that we've got. So your homework is going to be to do exercise 3F plus the other exam question that is in the booklet here, okay? Yeah.